you know, Trump said, build a wall. Let me tell you what build a wall means. It's like a helicopter flies against the wall. A little, a little blade tilt or belly run, you know, tilt. Come on. You guys watch those James Bond movies? How about the one with the uh, Mini Coopers? You know, space, space Camp, South Carolina, you know? Cooper River flows out of there. So, the wall. I want to explain to them how tornadoes work. You have a wall of thick, cool, dense air. Usually somewhere along that line, where the uh, forest trees and stuff start, you know? Humidity, things like that. Yeah. It's naturally gonna wanna move towards a less dense area with the heat and stuff. You know, but because of the wind, you know, desert plains, the winds, you know, the sun heating and cooling, heating and cooling, you know, dropping down from the atmosphere, filling up the gaps and then heating back up the next day, like carburetors, see? You know, the little flappers they made in carburetors, the little rubber gasket. Same thing on a bigger scale. So, now imagine a wall and the dry air wind whipping at it like a whipper wheel. Like Texas, you know, hey, the whipper wheel, you know, the little rolling through the deserts. Okay, rolling through the deserts. Now flip it up. Okay. So, heat want to rise. Uh, so, when the hot air meets that wall of cooler, dense air, it says, plus the flapper gasket effect. No invisible enemy. The engine that you can't see that the Indians can, you know, the stuff that we see. Oh my god, you know. That's why the tornado make things go up and the hurricane make things come down. So I'll try to give you an example of that. You know. Better helicopter designs with blades, the proper blades. We'll probably uh, help out with some of those desert recon Mars missions, man. With the space program, make some really cool, you know, Mars mission helicopters. You know, for like the space program, I like space pods out there. These you guys watch Star Wars. You know, Ronald Reagan started this Star Wars gate program, and they thought it was some kind of nuclear warhead gonna destroy everything kind of plan we're like no Star Wars the movie was put into the Library of Congress for a reason you know you see help us OB Obi-Wan can all be Obi-Wan can all be you see all be one can all be one one nation for God you know it's that simple there all be one, e pluribus unum. We say, you know, I had these little Eskimo looking structures out in the desert, you know, like the Alaskan Eskimos, you know, little thing. So when it snows, you know, it looks like an Eskimo teepee. So, you're like, well, maybe if they store the water after it snows, they can start working on hydroponics and all this other stuff. And greenhouses, don't forget the other video, the greenhouses, man. A little steaming up, some cool steam, you know, come up hot and cool it off. A little filtration, and then boom, greenhouse is growing. And you start expanding those greenhouses, and then once you get so much, then you start venting the greenhouses and, and then moving and expanding more, you know. But you got to make sure the chemicals, you know, are filtered out of the water and more than the crops because... You know, evaporate, fan sparks, and boom, ignition, you know. You know chemicals getting evaporated in the air and make you know, bomb, you know. Not intentionally. 
accidents, you know. So, safety first.